In a few moments I will go to Dave Ball's studio and will interview him um, about his um, biggest, his lifetime project A to Z and about uh, his uh, plans for um, yeah, the new letters. Um, he's completed um, A, B and C of uh, the concise uh, Oxford Dictionary, the nouns, the visualization of these nouns and uh, we will speak about the idea, um, the concept, um, his um, way of working and also some uh, new ideas about the uh, letters he will do in the near future. Stay tuned. So I mean, getting getting to your getting to talk about your current project, well, the ongoing project for years. Mm. I think uh, yes. <laughs> how many years actually? Uh, well, I started it in 2011. So A to Z. Been, yeah, ten years. Mm -hmm. And the, my estimate is it will take 35 years mm -hmm. to finish it. So we have a we have a party now. Ten years. Do you know when you started? Yeah, I wonder. It's hard to. Um, I think I did the first six drawings and then stopped. Mm -hmm. months, so Why? Know. I just wasn't sure if it was a good idea. I, I did the six drawings and put them up on the wall. Mm -hmm. And I really had, I remember, because I hadn't made any drawings for a long time, because um, I'd been making video and performance, and I literally didn't even have a pencil. So I was just looking in, in my desk Rummaging. and I had this like really small broken mm. HB pencil and so I didn't even have the equipment that you need to make mm. drawings and then kind of discovered that actually I remembered mm -hmm. years ago that why, why I got into art because I liked drawing yeah. so it was like rediscovering how much fun drawing is. Mm. So, so you started the A's and that took how long? Uh, the A's I think took two years mm -hmm. yeah so it's about 500 drawings mm -hmm. and I think I, you know, I was kind of running out of enthusiasm for the A's and then you and Pierre asked me to have the show and then so suddenly I had a, a deadline mm -hmm. and so, like, mm -hmm. I just finished the, the second half of the A's really mm -hmm. quickly to get them finished mm -hmm. which is nice that often happens with these projects but did you have the project outlined from the beginning or did that come with drawing the A's? Do you remember? I think in the beginning I, I was thinking I was going to draw every word in the mm -hmm. dictionary. Um, but after, when I got to the end of the A's I thought I'm just going to get bored of doing this. Mm -hmm. So I decided with each letter to change the, the rules or to change the medium slightly. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, so when I started the bees, it, it almost became a new project with a slightly different rule. S still the same rule that I have to draw or visu visualize as the word I, I use now. And then why, why is that thing about the visualization of the Oxford English? So how, how, how did that come about? Well, I can show you the, um, the actual dictionary. Yeah, it's sitting there, yeah. So I was, I was reading about creativity techniques, that was the, the, the uh, impulse at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's a well-known technique that if, uh, if, you, you need, if you're stuck and you, you're in a creative block, you open a dictionary, randomly pick a word, mm. which is jelly in this case. Mm -hmm. So let's say I'm designing, I'm an architect designing a bridge. I have to somehow apply the word jelly to, to, to what I'm working mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. So that, I don't know, it might make me make the bridge a bit, mm -hmm. whatever. This is great. So, so it's, quite, it's quite a useful technique, um, but because I'm interested in doing absurd ideas, mm -hmm. I thought, wouldn't, wouldn't it be nice to push that to the extreme instead of just picking a word mm -hmm. to do every single word? Mm -hmm. And so I literally just reached up onto my shelf at the time and had this mm -hmm. dictionary. So it's out of date, that's one interesting thing, it's from 1982. Yeah. But I, I kind of thought dictionaries always go out of date. Mm. So at some point, every dictionary will be out of date. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. why not start with one already out of date? So then it happened, then you went on with the bees. Yeah, so the bees... Um, I think I was... When I finished the A's, so I had this big exhibition uh, of the A's. And was looking around and think and noticing how often I was using Google Images, uh, and I felt at the time a bit too much because I didn't want the project to become about Google Images. Mm -hmm. 
So the, the, I added this rule with these that I should draw them from my memory. Mm -hmm. So I didn't allow myself to go and look at things. Mm -hmm. So I just drew what I remember things look like, uh, which in some cases is quite accurate, but in other cases, particularly animals, they're yeah. just pretty terrible drawings. And, and how many of those did you end up doing, actually? It was quite similar. Mm -hmm. um, it's about 500. Mm -hmm. So, so um, you get to know the, art, the alphabet quite well in this project. The A's, B's are quite similar. The C's is much bigger. There's a lot more words in English than mm -hmm. the C. Mm -hmm. But I think from 82, I think there's probably more words being added in the meantime. Yeah, there's all, well, these kind of dictionary, I mean, it's kind of a bit strange now to think about these physical dictionaries. Mm -hmm. no one ever yeah, uses yeah, yeah. Them. But I think they still print them, right? They do still print them, and people do like them, but they're always, they're always selections. I think this one has about 90,000 words in it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the new words get added, mm -hmm. but that means they have to put old words, mm -hmm. or take old words away. Mm -hmm. So it's all, yeah. dictionaries are always about selecting, there's no such thing as a complete yeah, yeah, yeah. dictionary. So people sometimes ask why, mm -hmm. why I use such a small dictionary. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But I think in the end, it's always a slightly arbitrary mm -hmm. selection, and so that's the one I chose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, there were about 500 Bs. Mm -hmm. So and then the Cs? So then Cs, yeah. So do you do it overlapping in a way, or do you think, or do you end a series and then you start with the next one? Or how does it work? I think I, I'm always thinking ahead about what I would like to do, mm -hmm. but I do them in order. Mm -hmm. That's a, quite important. So the idea of the whole concept is that I do, I visualize every word in alphabetical mm -hmm. order. So it wouldn't make sense just to jump ahead and start doing the, the F's or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so the C's, because it's a big um, chunk of the alphabet, my first um, quite naive idea was that I should do them uh, as photographs because I kind of thought that would be quicker because you just press. But what I didn't realize was that, that um, you have to go and find all of the things. So it ended up being even slower than drawing because drawings you can kind of just sit in the studio and do mm -hmm. them one after the next. So the seeds took four years to do. And I, I just kept on having to go to visit places and find things and, and it just drove me insane, that, mm -hmm. that project. Um, but it was nice that the medium switched, mm -hmm. I thought that was quite important, mm -hmm. quite early on in the project, to show it's not just a drawing project, mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah. it's a visualisation project. It's a visualisation, mm -hmm. so um, it uses um, different approaches to visualisation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So yeah, that was a big, a big chunk mm -hmm. of the project. You could see. Mm -hmm. And then when when did you when did you start with the D's? I'm just um, moving over to them because yeah, there's some so, on the wall. So the D's, um, maybe even the first mm -hmm. one was just here. Ah, is that the first one? Yeah. So I think I was thinking about mm -hmm. this idea of visualization and what that means. Um, I'm thinking, always trying to think about things in a sort of backwards way, mm -hmm. thinking, well, like, what would be the, the weirdest way to visualize something? <laughs> and I decided to, to use this technique where, where I close my eyes mm -hmm. and I sort of draw them without looking, so visualizing things with no visual um, uh, input, which is, which is quite a well-known technique, like if you go to art school, they often give you this as an exercise because mm -hmm. it, it trains your mm -hmm. the way you use your arm, the gestures mm -hmm. and stops you being a bit, uh, stops you being too um, too over careful and correcting things. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's used a lot as a technique. Um, mm -hmm. but I just made a few I remember I hadn't really decided that this was going to be the thing for the DDs, but I sat in a studio on like the mini residency I was doing, and mm -hmm. I just made the first 20. Mm -hmm. And I just enjoyed it so much that there was something um, that really, like if you 
through this one, for example, Dad. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's a yeah. very, very simple drawing, but it becomes so personal. Mm -hmm. so, so this is me and my two children. Mm -hmm. oh, mm. How do you make the essence of a dad? Maybe if he's holding a football. I've drawn a lot of daffodils before, which you really start to notice you have a kind of memory of mm -hmm. things that you draw. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of detail, which is quite well observed from... Yeah, I was wondering. I mean, if you previous. did that for the first time, it would be I, I wouldn't amazing. have information yeah. in my head. But, but I have, but still things don't line up. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, yeah. but somehow that makes it better. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, particularly that one, I think it's... Often yeah, it's with amazing. these blind drawings, I look at them and think, I couldn't have done that with my eyes open. It's mm -hmm. actually better than... Mm -hmm. And there's one which I like to pick out as a particularly good example, which was Dancer. I just felt like this was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just somehow went far beyond anything I could have done with my eyes open. Because mm -hmm. yeah. the things don't match up, but because of the idea of movement, yeah, and so yeah, on, yeah. It's, it became accidentally. Yeah. No, I think they're amazing. I actually, I think it's my favorite out of all the Ds because mm -hmm. it's just what it does and what comes out and it's just amazing. It's such a fun thing to do and, and sometimes they come out really badly. Um, what's an example of a bad one? This one? But is there anything like that? Any any bad? I think it's just... Well, that's the, yeah, exactly. So a, you, you start to think, well, what does bad mean? But, for example, day, <laughs> which is one of those words which sounds really simple, but then the more you think about it, how do you actually visualize Day, especially when you're using like dark daylight, paper. day, mm -hmm. and it, it looks like night, if anything, yeah. or just a mess. And I think without the title, you might you just you wouldn't know what fog, what the hell it was. So <laughs> no, but, but that's it's, really, yeah. I mean, I it, it takes a certain kind of confidence to not go and like secretly, like secretly do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I've been had to be had, had to be really disciplined mm -hmm. just to say no matter how bad they are. This was it, and that's part of the sequence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The surprise. So what's really nice about this project is, um, so obviously I'm doing it with my eyes closed, mm -hmm. but there's always a moment when you open your eyes when it's finished, and then there's this moment of wow, mm -hmm. which can be a good wow, or it can be, oh my God, that's terrible. <laughs> but that's, but what, it's really important to, um, to kind of keep this moment in the, uh, Project. So, just maybe we're going to look at a little sequence. Uh, starting with a good one, for example, like <laughs> dilution. Mm -hmm. um, so, I like the fact that the water's not quite in the glass <laughs> and the pouring it. It's, it's, it's not. Yeah. But, every, but somehow it's perfect. Um, yeah. And then other ones that come afterwards are maybe more simple, more almost quite boring in a way because they're so simple. Mm -hmm. um, but then the, the next one in the sequence is down here for some reason. Hold on. Dimmer, I don't know if anyone would ever get this, but it's like one of these yeah, light yeah, of things course. that, that yeah. goes down. But then I came to dimple, mm -hmm. which is like when you smile, there's mm -hmm. a little um, yeah, yeah. wrinkle in your face. And the, the drawing is, I mean, you'd be really struggling to say that that's a very good drawing. <laughs> But because it's in the sequence, and the next mm -hmm. one is more interesting, maybe it it becomes interesting. Mm -hmm. and, and so with this project, you you can never just look at one image and fully get the project. You always have to look at what came before. Yeah, yeah. You contrast and, and so it's, and I quite like the idea that um, people understand that I'm just sitting there doing one after the next, mm -hmm. and so it's like, oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. But you just keep going. That's mm -hmm. the, the momentum. How long do you, I mean, how long do you draw? Like, how long do you do these? Like, these they're, they're really, um, really short because you you always get to a point with your eyes closed where you, you've no idea what you've done. And so you can't go and rework one area because mm -hmm. you've no idea how it looks. So mm -hmm. in the end, you just have to decide in your in your inner eye what you think you've done mm -hmm. and then just stop. Mm -hmm. um, so that's nice. So th there's always it's quick. Mm -hmm. They never take more than a minute maximum. Mm -hmm. to, to and how many of those can you do? Like, uh, like, you know, or how many do you do? Yeah, I mean, the actual drawings can be really quick, but um, the, the the planning 
takes a lot of time, mm. particularly with um, more abstract words. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, the point in the dictionary I'm at now are words beginning with D I S, mm -hmm. and there's like hundreds of them like, mm -hmm. um, disagreement, mm -hmm. disapproval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all quite abstract words, and abstract words are really hard because mm -hmm. you have to think of almost like a solution. But what do you do? I mean, do you let them sit there and, and you know, until you've got an idea and then you do the drawing? Or how does it I work? Can, I can give you an insight yeah. into my work <laughs> method. So I've usually got the next 20 or so words mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. written out, maybe you can also see in the dictionary the way this works. Mm -hmm. I'm always um, sort of marking the ones mm -hmm. that I'm going to do mm -hmm. according to the rules mm -hmm. I've set myself. And then you write them so out. So I write them out and then, um, so for example, the next three or four, I was just thinking about this afternoon, mm -hmm. so disagreement. Mm -hmm. So it's a very abstract word, so you really have to think, well, how am I going to visualize that, mm -hmm. uh, which is different from... A dirndl, for example, that's just a thing mm -hmm. you, you can... Uh, yeah, no, I much, get the point, the abstract. But then so, you have to, you're thinking of an image and when it's there, you draw it. Yeah, so I, I kind of plan what I think the drawing will look like. And when, and when I've reached that point, then I can, then I can do it. Mm -hmm. And doing it takes a minute maximum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of planning, a lot of research. Mm -hmm. Um, and whether it's a particular colour is yeah, the, just the, the, to it or...? The colour's an intuitive mm -hmm. choice. I'm not really sure what the logic But do you choose the colour with your eyes shut as well? No, I, it's part of the planning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And how many of those did you do? I mean, I'm just looking at the wall and there's some here lined up on the table. Yeah, I've got um, 255 mm -hmm. and similar to A and B, it's about 500 mm -hmm. to do, so halfway on. Mm -hmm. exactly. And the next letter? The next letter, yes. Um, the next letter is E. <laughs> Probably 600. So, no, e, E is quite a small letter. Yeah, for, interesting. For the, for the first, for words starting with E, mm -hmm. it's the most common letter, mm -hmm. it's not for the start of words. Um, so it's a smaller one, so I've been thinking about um, doing it as live performances or um, possibly video documented mm -hmm. performances. And I would, one idea was to, to, to use improvisation techniques. Mm -hmm. um, and I also would quite like to, um, so improvisation, so you have the word and you have to kind of act it out, whatever, if it's um, egg, I don't know, you might sort of mm -hmm. Do some mm -hmm. kind of action mm -hmm. with an egg or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so I might try and collaborate with some more kind of professional improvisers because mm -hmm. um, I so far it's all been me, mm -hmm. and that's something I'm really quite keen to to move away from. Mm -hmm. um, I've done some stuff with students where they they make drawings, and I find it really fascinating because other people's approach is, is just subtly quite different. Mm -hmm. Mine. So that, that's that's one idea, and I'm also thinking about the idea of people who are non-native English speakers doing them, mm -hmm. and potentially not understanding words, and mm -hmm. so allowing for mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, because I think it is very interesting the way that English has become this world-dominant mm -hmm. language. Uh, which is a bit imperialistic somehow, but then not really. But uh, yeah, so that, that's that's it's a question that's in the project. Why why English? And um, what the easy answer is because I'm English. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would kind of want to push it a bit more than that and mm -hmm. really think about what what function does English have in the world? Mm -hmm. um, so potentially getting people who don't fully understand the words to try to to visualize mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. This may not end up being part of this project, but I, I'm quite interested in, in using three different categories of people. Um, so native English speakers, native German speakers, mm -hmm. and 
people who are, uh, have moved to Germany who have a, a native language from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. um, and getting them to play some kind of word association game. Um, so that, that would move away from this project. Mm -hmm. like it's kind of inspired by it. And asking people with, without any translation to visualize um, a word. So English, I think, almost certainly would be the language that most people understand the most of. Mm -hmm. German, because we're in Germany, would be kind of close second, mm -hmm. I think. But then if the third language was, for example, Arabic or something like this, so if an Arabic person gives you a word in Arabic, it's quite likely that you'll have no idea what it means. But, but the task would be still to visualize what you heard. Mm -hmm. And and you probably, well, almost certainly would get it completely wrong, but it st could still be interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So so there's like a so, sort of hierarchy between these three languages, mm -hmm. which um, I don't want to make this project too political and make any strong statements about mm -hmm. this, but I think as a slightly humorous game, mm -hmm. yeah. this, this could be quite interesting. So that might end up being part of this project or it might end up being mm -hmm. a, a spin-off, mm -hmm. a, a separate project. And the rules that you sort of um, establish, they come as you go, right? Or you don't have a set of rules that you've already sort of designed up to Z? No, no, no. no um, mm. Because when I, when I get to Z, uh, I think I'll be almost 70. Mm -hmm. So I can't possibly predict well how I what I will want to do, but also what the world will mm -hmm. be like. Maybe there will be new platforms or new media. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't want to predict too mm -hmm. far ahead what's. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also uh, what's it had, the project has to keep me interested because mm -hmm. I have to do it. So I don't know how interested I'll be in um, drawing, for example, in, in ten years. Maybe not at all. Maybe completely. Maybe I'll, just, I'll make it go back to the original uh, idea for the A's. But so yeah, I don't. I quite like to keep it open. Mm -hmm. I think. Really, really nice. Do you want to draw? Yes. Draw so, one now. Or? Uh, I can. We can do this. <laughs> is there space? Ah, there is space. Yeah. Uh, well, I think over there. It's pretty simple. So yes. This is the line. So that's the last one, one of the last ones. This is the last draw you did, disadvantage. <laughs> and the idea was that it was mm -hmm. a football game mm -hmm. in place. Mm -hmm. Not on a level playing field, which is the metaphor, as well as a literal... Um, I'm not sure whether the drawing really <laughs> communicates that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun to do. So, and the next word then, after... Disadvantage was or is dis disagreement. Mm, yeah, the one that we just discussed that was difficult. Yeah, so this is. So do you want to do a difficult one now, or do you want to do? Simple one? Well, I, I have. I've, you I've, have to. I planned this. So mm -hmm. I I've, I've spent half an hour thinking about this mm -hmm. earlier um, mm -hmm. and googling the concept. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I don't know if. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe I can describe what's in my mind, and mm -hmm. then we'll see how it mm -hmm. how it turns out. So I, I'm thinking there will be a man and a woman. Um, I think they they're choosing something like a sofa, mm -hmm. and the woman is saying yes. So I think I will write the word yes in the kind of thought bubble, and the man is saying no. <laughs> so it's a disagreement, about a sofa, <laughs> which which happens to to me and my girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, quite recently, so, so <laughs> it's slightly inspired by real life. <laughs> but not, but it's not like a big life or death decision. Mm. So, so it's, I, I prefer to take slightly playful approaches. So the other thing I have to do is mm. decide uh, what colour to do it. And um, I haven't decided this, so this is, I'm now literally deciding. <laughs> um, and I really don't know what's, where this choice comes from, but I think I'm going to do it in yellow. So, um, this is how it works. So here's the paper. Mm -hmm. And so I'll close my eyes, do drawing, and not open my eyes until I think mm -hmm. it's finished. Mm -hmm. um, so, let's go. 
So now I'm nervous because this could be good or it could be bad, I have no idea. Okay, I think that's finished. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, I've got the exclamation mark. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> yeah, that's... So he's saying it way more vehemently. Yes, than he's, she... like, she's like, yes. And he's like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and I forgot to draw what they were looking at as well. But there we are. But still, that's uh, so. And then I always write the name mm -hmm. of the word. I do it with my eyes open. Mm -hmm. Check the spelling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the word? Disagreement. Mm -hmm, exactly. Disagreement. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make sure we have enough space. Yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So that's, yeah, so that's finished. That's uh, yes. <laughs> only 250 to go. <laughs> so yeah, they're quite quick mm -hmm. to, to, to um, yeah. execute them, but uh, it's, it's a really fun process mm. to do them. Mm. And so yeah, if, if I was sitting here normally in the studio, I'd pr I would have probably planned the next five, and I would mm -hmm. just sit here and just do them mm -hmm. really quickly. And then suddenly you have five new mm -hmm. drawings. And I always like to put them on the wall mm -hmm. as soon as possible to mm -hmm. get this idea of the sequence. Mm -hmm. But does that play a role in the choice of the next sort of motif as well? I mean, do you... Yeah. Because if you set them up like this, thinking about the next sort of um, mm. visualization yeah. of that word, does that play a role? I think so. And I think having exhibitions, these are always key points in the mm -hmm. development of the projects. Also, work in progress being exhibited, yeah, because we also yeah, showed some Ds. Yeah. And, and I mean, I don't, once I've decided what the concept is for one letter, mm -hmm. I would never change that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if people respond to these in a certain way, that could, could trigger some thought for, mm -hmm. like, oh, it's interesting what she said. Maybe I could work with that in the next. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And this thing I was um, thinking about, about why English. That was triggered by a question someone asked me mm -hmm. when I was giving a lecture on this. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't really have an answer at the time. So that's. Um, yeah, it's often pe people's comments are really important. Mm -hmm. I don't always agree with what they say, but uh, it's. Yeah, def mm -hmm. definitely exhibitions are really important mm -hmm. for this project. Mm -hmm. Obviously. I, I wouldn't mm -hmm. like to just sit at home and never show this to anyone. Mm -hmm. I have this like sort of fantasy that um, when it's finished, I'll have a twenty-six rooms solo retrospective in the in the Guggenheim or the Technion. That'd be awesome. <laughs> and every room would be a different letter. So I guess in a perfect world, mm -hmm. that, that would be the result. But I think in reality, I, I will just show one letter mm -hmm. in one exhibition. You never know. You never know what happens. But it's, it has the magnitude to to make it. Somewhere that big, I think. And I think just imagining that, I mean, maybe it's a fantasy, but that also affects my decisions about what to do with each letter. Because mm -hmm. if there are two rooms in the Guggenheim and they look very similar, mm -hmm. that would be a problem. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. sometimes it, it just to have this imagined like, mm -hmm. fantasy, fantasy exhibition mm -hmm. helps to design a project. Mm -hmm. Somehow, but yeah, who knows, maybe when I'm mm. 70.